back to my channel. It's me, Jackie. I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every Friday, and I've been weekly vlogging and uploading those on Tuesday. So by the title of this video, you can tell that this is going to be a haul video, my first official sit-down haul video since moving to LA, and I thought I would just show you the collective shopping that I've done so far. The past couple of weeks, I've been shopping and I wanted to film this haul and just show you what I got. I've done a haul video before of stuff that I bought here in LA, but it was in weekly vlog number one, which I can link right here. It is a fun little sit, um, rambly, lifestyle vlog of me just showing you what I bought when I first got here. It's my first time living on my own, so I needed to buy like some bedding, kitchenware, all kinds of essential stuff you need when you move out uh, into your own place for the first time. So that was weekly vlog number one. I was so excited to go to Target and I hadn't been in like 10 years or so, so that was really fun. I got here the first day I went to Target and then I filmed that video, so that was fun. But today is going to be more of a collective haul over the past few weeks and some recently like yesterday so I'll just show you what I bought this is going to be really long and rambly so get ready because I talk a lot so I'm just going to start I have all the bags right here in front of me and I'm just gonna pick them up by order of uh, where I bought them so first we have this bag which is from Ulta and there's a lot of other stuff in here as well not just from Ulta because I put them all together so they can be nice and organized so the first thing I bought is this this is the it's a, I'm gonna pull all these products out and they're gonna be backwards this is the philosophy ultra light moisturizer it was $25 it's a really light moisturizer I got a few samples of it and I loved it so this has been my moisturizer of choice I've been using like little tiny samples I got from Sephora so that's how I got introduced to it I picked it up at Ulta because they were uh, out of it in Sephora next is this Maybelline age rewind eraser dark circles so if you watch my august favorites you would know this has been my favorite uh, concealer and i'm kind of sad because mine ran out and the color is only exclusive in the philippines so i couldn't find the color here but i got this one in the shade golden so hopefully this would work if not i'll just have to return it and try another one the last thing i got from ulta is this this is the acrylic um, container that I can put cotton buds and cotton rounds in it so I don't have to like pull it out of the packaging all the time so I got this I don't really remember how much this was I'll have to look on the receipt to see but I love it it's nice it's pretty and I can't wait to like collect some more of these acrylic storage and put all my makeup and everything else in it so speaking of those cotton rounds I bought some Except I got these at the 99 cent store because essentially they're the same thing except for 99 cents and when you're on a budget that's a good key thing so they're just 100 cotton rounds I don't know if they're as good as like name brand stuff but I don't care I'm going to put these into that container because as I said I hate opening this up and trying to get one I'd rather just separate all of them and then put it in here and then grab one to take my makeup off at night oh and that acrylic storage container was $8.99 the last thing in here which I picked up at Target is the Zoella Wonder Hand <laughs> so I've been watching Zoella since pretty much the beginning I've read her blog since I I think 2009 2010 I don't know it's been a long time so she's been like a youtuber I've been watching for a long time and I've all like I watch all her Zoella beauty range but in the Philippines you can't access it uh, nowhere ships to the Philippines so I never got to try it so I was kind of bummed out but I saw this at Target and I decided you know what <laughs> I'm gonna actually try something from her range so this was I like, $11.99 it's just a wonder hand cream it's sealed still it's such pretty packaging it's just so pretty and I can't wait to try it and I see if there's any other of her range here in the US but yeah I bought this at Target 
and can't wait to try it. That was everything in the Ulta bag. Next up, we have Marshalls, but there's so many other things in here, so I'm gonna have to separate them. The first thing I picked up in Marshalls were these lashes. So I heard good things about Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, that they have some discounts on eyelashes. And I went to the drugstore and looked at the Ardell Wispies that everyone talks about. And they're like $14 <laughs> so I'm not that ready to do that kind of lashes yet because I don't really know how to do them uh, I need to practice I bought eyelash glue eyelash tweezers with me that I bought in the Philippines but for some reason I forgot to bring eyelashes but maybe I did that intentionally because mine I got for like 10 pesos a piece and they were very very like low quality so I'm glad that I left those but I wanted to try eyelashes so I saw these and I wanted a pack of them so I could actually try them out and these are 3d faux mink lashes so I'm hoping that means they're not real animal and so I'm hoping that they aren't so let me know if like this is bad I have no idea but they look pretty and um, I don't know what foaming is, but it says it is cruelty free. So hopefully that is good. So these are just my lash foaming lashes and it shows how to put them on. And I think it comes with glue, but I already have some glue that I bought. These were just $5.99 at Marshalls. While I was at the beauty section, I was looking around the hair tools and I wasn't going to get anything. And then I spotted something and then I ended up buying this. <laughs> This is the Absolute Heat Pro Ion series. It is a curling wand and it is hot pink. So if you open it up, I love this box. It is a 3 fourth to 1 and 1 fourth gradual barrel. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It is a hot pink and I think you know my aesthetic of hot pink because my bed and my suitcases and everything in my life is hot pink. It's my favorite color. So I had to get this. And this was only, where's the price? It was only $19.99 and it was originally $40. So that is so good. I can take it out of the box and show you. This is what it looks like. I never owned a curling wand before. I've only owned a curling iron. So I can't wait to try it and I hopefully it will fix my curling problem. Um, so my hair is very curly. In the Philippines it curled right away but here it has gone straight. It is flat, it is straight. I curled these an hour ago and they're pretty much non-existent now. And hopefully like this curling wand will fix it and I also bought some other hair products that I'll show later on in this video. I went to Marshalls to get my roommate a birthday present because it was her birthday a few days ago and I went in there to buy her a gift but I ended up buying so much more for me instead because it's all about me of course. So I was almost done. I still hadn't found a present for her but I was almost done for myself and then I went to the homeware section and that was a very bad idea because I wanted to buy everything there but I did come out with one thing and it's wrapped up nice in this paper this is like a little plate that you can put rings jewelry I saw this and I saw the crown I'm like that is so cute and then I saw it was pink and you know me hot pink my aesthetic again and then it says queen <laughs> There's an inside joke within my family and everyone calls me the queen of everything. Just a joke started by my uncle. It's actually a Filipino saying but I translate it into English and it translates over to queen of everything and my family knows it and it's a really fun joke. <laughs> so I saw this and it said queen. It has a crown. A crown. My username is Fashion X Fairy Tale. I love fairy tales. I love all the royalty queens, all that kind of stuff. And then it is pink again. So pretty much this whole thing is just my aesthetic in one. <laughs> I wish the diamonds were bows then. That would be even cooler and it would just be me in a tiny dainty trinket plate holder thing. So this was $4.99. It was originally $8. So I'm gonna put 
my earrings on it before bed, my bracelets. I don't have any rings, but if I did, I would put them on the tip of the crown. And yeah, I just think it's so cute. And I love the queen saying and the font of it. Um, my last name also begins with Q, so I associate the letter Q a lot. And me being the queen of everything in my family, this was just meant for me. Can it be like a little crown? <laughs> <laughs> that was everything I got in Marshalls. I did end up getting my roommate a gift. Don't worry, I gave it to her already. It was. It will be in my weekly vlog coming next Tuesday if you want to see that. I don't film her reaction, but I do film what I bought her if you're curious to see what I actually bought and not just for me. So that is it with Marshalls. Next, I went to the Beverly Center, which is right next to the Beverly Connection. So I really love the Beverly Center. It's my favorite mall I've been here, been to here in LA. It has everything that I want to shop in and stores that I wish I can shop in. For example, Gucci, Jimmy Choo, Louis Vuitton, all those high-end, um, places that I dream to one day shop in <laughs> but for now I just stuck to a few that I could afford so I popped into Sephora first I got another Sephora bag this is so pretty and I'm gonna put this on display because I'm really proud and I really like this um, I have so many shelves right beside me so that can just add to the aesthetic of my place so I went into the Sephora in the Beverly Center and um, they had their last day of the VIB sale I don't know what it's called I'm new here still I don't know what exactly that's called but I did want to pick up one thing which is one of the skincare samples that I got in my skincare routine that the Sephora lady kindly recommended to me so I just got this this is the Lancome Tonique comfort toner so I really love this it's a hydrating toner and it really does wonders to my skin so after I exfoliate I add this and it rehydrates my face since it's so dry here and yeah so that's the only thing I got at Sephora <laughs> I got it 10% off so that was good um, I just went in there to get that one thing and I came out with that one thing surprisingly after Sephora I popped into one of my all-time favorite stores and the first one I've been to here in LA and that is Forever 21 if I can actually show you Forever 21 so I got a big bag so that means I bought quite a few things so I just pop in to see what I pull out first. You're gonna be seeing a lot of these. I got so many of these. These are the extra large tank tops. I sleep in these. I layer things with these. I love these. I got one in a salmony pink color. Nude, navy blue, pink of course, black, a mustard yellow, and lastly a lilac purple. So these were only $2.90 a piece and as you can see I got a few of them in a variety of colors. I usually get a 1x because I like them to be roomy and comfy. This is only an extra large so I'm going to try one on to see if I like it. If not, I'm going to just return them and get another size. So yeah, I got a bunch of these. Of course I can't go to Forever 21 without buying this. I always go to Forever 21 and buy something in this fashion and it is my bows. If you ever wonder where I get my bows from, it's usually Forever 21 except this one. This one is from Free People but all my other bows are pretty much Forever 21. I got a lilac purple and a pink. I kind of matched it with the <laughs> tank tops that I got. So. I really love these two colors at the moment. And I got some hair ties because I'm running out. So I just got a bunch of these. These were only $1.90. It has white, nude, blush pink, brown, and black. So a lot of neutral colors and some neutrals that I like to wear. So I have a lot of hair ties. Watch me lose every single one of these hair ties. <laughs> and then the last thing in this bag is a mini Forever 21 bag. And in here I got these two necklaces. So I don't really have too many of these dainty uh, pendant necklaces. So I got these. This was $2.90. This one was $2.90. This one was 3 dollars 
and I'll just show a close-up of these. The first one is just these three um, mini dainty hearts and it's just so cute. I love hearts so I got this one and then I got this one. This one's just a little like diamond gold stud. I think in the middle it has rose gold and then like, diamonds surrounding it. It's very pretty. I love that. The last thing in here is just this Essence All About Matte Powder. I heard so many good things about this powder and even though I'm dry, I still get oily on my forehead and on my nose. So I'm going to try this out. It was only like $5. So that was everything in my Forever 21 bag. Right next door to Forever 21 was H&M. And I went on Labor Day, so they kicked me out of the store, but I did manage to buy one thing before they closed. And it is this burgundy cardigan. It's this long, soft, flowy cardigan. I have one in gray that I bought in Manila. I bought it over here and I've been wearing it to the grocery store a lot because it is getting chilly, which is nice. Well, for me it is. But uh, I got this. It was, if I can find the tag. This was $12.99 and I sized up and got an extra large. I'm usually a medium or a large but I liked it extra long and like uh, a robe kind of like styles. I got a size up and that was the only thing I got in H&M. Usually I have more of a H&M haul than Forever 21 but that day I only bought one thing. Now moving on, I went to CVS. I haven't been to a CVS before but the other day I went to a few because I wanted to buy one thing, one thing only, but I ended up buying a lot more than I intended to. Here is the bag. It kind of got ripped in my bag already and it's still ripping. So I'll show you what I intended to buy first. I went in to buy this lip liner and I went to so many CVS's to find it. I finally found one. It was the last one. So of course I had to pick it up. And this is the NYX lip liner in mauve. I heard so many good things. I watched a few YouTube videos recommending this as a good overall lip liner and I don't have too many so I picked that up and this was I think $3.49 and then I got another one which is in pale pink so I wear these two colors a lot and I don't really own too many lip pencils so I can get away with it I have so many lipstick not too many lip pencils so I got those two and I was just gonna stop there and then I saw other stuff. <laughs> toothpaste, exciting. Uh, I needed toothpaste, so I just decided to pick it up. Lastly, two hair products. So I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Heard so many good things on YouTube about this, so I'm gonna try it out. Maybe it will help with my lifeless problem. Then I got some hairspray. This is the L'Oreal El Net hairspray. Again, another YouTube recommendation. <laughs> so hopefully if I spray this on my hair and use my new curling wand, my hair will fall out easily. So I got those two. This was I think $7.99 and this was like $4.99. I'm not sure. I think it was. So those were the things that I got at CVS. Okay, we're finishing off the haul now with just one more stop. Last but not least is TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx yesterday, so these were very recent. I went in to buy one thing, came out again with other things. So I went there to buy, oops, washcloths. I got a rewards card while I was there, that's what fell out. I got these washcloth, washcloths. Uh, they were $4.99. Let's see, what were they originally? eight dollars um you they're not my colors turquoise white and what is this uh salmony coral i guess that's what it is you know it's not my aesthetically pleasing color palette but they didn't have any other ones so i just use these to take off my makeup at night with um a cleansing balm so I needed more washcloths. Can't believe that I'm going to be showing the next thing in here, but why not? It's what I bought. So I got some bras. I don't know if I ever showed a bra in a haul before, but here they are. I got two bras. I got two push-up bras because your girl needs it and she's very flat. So 
the more help the better so i got this one this is really pretty it's um by the brand oh jessica simpson that's cool and it was originally forty dollars that's a lot of money for this why is it forty dollars but i got it for 6.99 so yeah it's a bra no i'm not gonna try it on i'm not that confident to show you but yeah it's just a really padded bra and i need all the push-up i can get next we have this one um i don't know how to put this one on i don't know if i'm going to be using this one as much because it's like a front kind of clasp one and i don't know how to put it on yet so me and my roommate went bra shopping she got some and she saw this one for me uh and yeah it's another push-up one it is 6.99 and it's by the brand vince camuto so yeah another push-up kind of bra navy i love the back of it bras <laughs> I can't believe I showed you that but there you go and that was everything I got at TJ Maxx and pretty much my bed's a mess with everything I bought now that was my haul video I hope it wasn't too long but knowing me it was so long and rambling but I hope you enjoyed everything I bought everything will be linked down in the description if it isn't I will link something similar or if I just can't find any of one item sorry about that i did film a little come shopping with me behind the scenes a teeny bit in my weekly vlog coming up so you can check that out when it's uploaded i can't wait to use all of these things now and i can finally get them out of the bag and use them because they've been sitting on my couch for a few weeks now some of them recently some of them for a few weeks so i can't wait to try all this stuff out if I find anything that I love, I'll be sharing it in either my weekly vlog or just a monthly favorites video. It depends, but I think that is it. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. I really enjoyed shopping. I have a shopping problem and now living in LA, it's even bigger. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.